It's been quite a comeback already, as Amore's first single off the new album hit number one on the Afrikaans Top 20. Producer Ziggy has never heard her sound better. Ziggy, what has it been like for you working with Amore on this album? She's an inspiration in the sense that when, you know, despite whatever heartaches or hardships she might, she might endure, you know, she's an, an inspiration to the likes of us, you know, the way she she doesn't give up. Finally, the energy she brings to the studio is infectious. You know, you might feel down or whatever the case may be. As soon as she steps in here, she's like a ray of sunshine and I really enjoyed working with her. After her success with her previous album, Amor took some time out to focus on her family. Bravo! I figured because you're half Italian, that's how I would thank you for your performance. <laughs> Grazie mille, thank you. That was beautiful. I know that you're a very emotional person and I know that you definitely take inspiration from the experiences that have happened in your life yeah. and you put them into your albums. Is this album any different? Absolutely not. It was a very therapeutic album. Um, it was written in a, a difficult time over the last five years, six years actually. It was an emotional experience. Some songs I would kind of break down and cry. So everything I felt, everything I went through, the hardships, being sick all the time, and the choices that I made, it's, it's all transparent within the music. The constants throughout challenging times have been family. Free-spirited and musical nine-year-old Kylie, soccer mad and dance-crazy 11-year-old Jordan, and Amor's mother, Dilia Svetoni, a very involved grandmother. Um, <laughs> You cannot live without your mother because she's your momager, as I'd like to yes. call her. And I mean, she helps with the kids. You are just there for every step of the way. I've been in there now since they were born. So, <laughs> You've yeah. always helped out. And when we've done shows, yeah. I mean, my mom and dad would take over. They'd literally move into the house and they know their schedule. So when I'm away doing promos, it's like, where's no, 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 no. She runs my diary, she um, knows where I am every second of the day. And then she helps me with the kids and my father as well. So it's great to have that relationship and I'm blessed to have my parents in my life. Stop talking, I want to eat. Oh, okay, <laughs> we're going to eat. <laughs> While the kids love pizza, Amor's keeping herself in top shape by sticking to a special banting style pizza. With a daughter who rides horses every day and her son a promising soccer player, she is always on the go. Amor, you really do have a beautiful family. They must be your pride and joy. I love my family. They're the reason why I get up and they're the reason why I do what I do. I love performing and I suppose the songs that I wrote as well was inspired by my kids. And they just, uh, every day, I mean, there's new challenges every day. And my, my son is, uh, he has a cochlear implant. so. It's kind of hard in the afternoon to discipline a remedial child and also then to do the homework as well because it's so challenging. And then you have Kylie who is just so amazing and just does her homework every single day. I don't even have to ask. They are my love and life. It's been a long journey for you, many ups and downs, but being in the public eye means that you've been under a lot of scrutiny as well. How do you continue to stay so positive? In my case, um, I suppose one thing happened after the other and it felt like it was an avalanche of one snowball hitting another and I landed up in hospital, got addicted to sleeping tablets, my escape was kind of wanting to run away, just sleep. And the, the thing that I've learned out of this is that you actually have to want to help yourself. So everyone around you can say, hey, you know, you're destroying your body or you, you, you look how sick you are, you know, just, but you can only help yourself once you see once you've hit rock bottom. And out of desperation, I always say comes inspiration. I had to climb back on the bandwagon and, and my music was my savior as well. And, and that's what I need to do. Before heading off to Mauritius for her parents' 45th wedding anniversary, Amor got her children to pack some love boxes to distribute to children's homes, old age homes and hospitals. She's a doer, not a talker. So what's next? Well, previously, I would have always had these long-term goals and, and, you know, wanted to get there. And I think because of the last five years and the journey I've taken, and um, I suppose I've become wiser. And yes, I have my long-term goals, but I don't live in the future or in the past anymore. 
So for me now, it's about enjoying the moments, enjoying the time, and, and, and that's why the album is called Die Zeit ist Now, because the time is now to start enjoying. And even though things go wrong, life still carries on. And all you can do is be the best that you can be. A powerful message. And may Christmas stockings across the land be filled with a more CD.